everyone and welcome back to my channel Natalie's Life. Today I'm very excited to share with you my healthy summer weekday morning routine. How I start my day is by hearing a relaxing alarm. I use the alarm on the iPhone app and the sound I like to use is playtime. I like to add an inspiring, motivational, or a positive label to my alarm. This is what I do every single day. I get out of bed, stretch, and thank God for another day. Then I walk over to my window to move my curtains over to their sides and I open up the blinds. I love seeing the sunshine every day and it makes me feel closer to God. I walk over to my dresser and put my Fitbit on. The kind of Fitbit I have is the Fitbit Charge 2. I love it and it's an awesome way for me to track my steps, my stairs, exercise, how many calories I've burned and so much more. I then turn off my fan. I prefer to sleep cool rather than warm, so almost every night before I go to bed, I turn my fan on. It's now time to put on my robe. I love this robe. If you watched my video what I got for Christmas 2016, you'll remember this robe. <laughs> it's so soft and cozy. My Nana gave this to me and I absolutely love it. It's a great way for me to start my day or end my day. I can stay cozy in this robe in the morning or I can stay cozy in this robe in the evening time for a movie or something. I now walk downstairs into the kitchen to pick a cute cup. Today I picked this cup that says mornings aren't pretty on one side and on the other side is Minnie Mouse holding a donut and a cup. <laughs> Even though this cup says mornings aren't pretty, honestly, I love the mornings. As you all may or may not know, I've lost over 15 pounds and this is one of the quote unquote secrets that have helped me. Drinking hot water with lemon right when I wake up. How I make my lemon water is by filling three-fourths of a cup full of water. I place the cup with the water into the microwave. I like mine more on the warm side, so I leave it in the microwave for one minute and five seconds. When it's finished and all nice and warm, I take the cup out of the microwave and place it on my kitchen counter. The kind of lemons I like to use are baby lemons. The reason for that is lemon water is good for you, but you really don't know how your body will react to it because it's very acidic. I take the tag off of the baby lemon and I proceed to cut it in half. Then I take a very small baggie and I put one of the halves into the baggie. I put the baggie with half of the lemon back with all of the other baby lemons and put them in the refrigerator. I take the half I didn't put into the baggie and squeeze the juice into the cup of hot water. I take my spoon and fish out all of the seeds that fell into the cup. Today, there were a lot of seeds in this half of a lemon. I don't know why, but sometimes there's a good amount of seeds and sometimes there aren't many at all I have to fish out. After all of the seeds are out of the hot water, I stir up the juice from the baby lemon and the hot water. I let it set for maybe a minute. I walk back upstairs to enjoy my lemon water. I found that starting my day first thing with drinking lemon water has improved my digestion as well as nourishing my body in a wholesome and healthful way. When I go to sleep, I turn my phone on airplane mode. It's really nice to wake up to just the alarm with that positive label rather than all of the notifications. After I go upstairs with my lemon water, I turn my phone off of airplane mode. I've also been using the app Spotify and loving it. What I like to listen to in the mornings is this playlist called Zeno Christian Acoustic Guitar. I tap shuffle play and that's it. So simple, but so unique. I sit on my bed or walk around and enjoy the music, focusing and centering on God's greatness and all that he's done for me. Cheers. After a few minutes or so, it's time to prep for my workout. I pick out what I'm going to wear for my workout and I finish drinking my lemon water.
Before I work out and after I finish drinking my lemon water, I go into the restroom to brush my teeth. I take off my Fitbit when I brush my teeth and take it off when I'm doing anything that pertains to water because the Fitbit I have is not waterproof. It's important to brush your teeth after drinking lemon water because it helps keep your enamel strong. The toothbrush I like to use are the soft or the extra soft toothbrushes. The toothpaste I like to use is Sensodyne Rapid Relief. I've also tried the Sensodyne Full Protection and I like that toothpaste as well. I put my Fitbit back on my wrist and go into our game room to get a water as well as my probiotic. I take this before I work out because with this probiotic, I have to wait 15 minutes until I can eat any food. Probiotics are very important to take. They help with your quote unquote gut health. I walk back into my room to finish a few items before I work out. The first thing I do is my Flonase nasal spray. For me, this really helps balance out my allergies. I do my Flonase nasal spray every day. The next thing I do is I put Aquaphor on my lips. Aquaphor is my go-to lip cream that really helps my lips stay moisturized. I then tidy up my nightstand now it's just about time to work out. I continuously drink water before and after my workout. Sometimes I need a little bit of water during my workout, but I just take a few sips. I make sure to drink two eight ounce cups of water before I work out. Then I make my bed real quick before I work out. I make my bed every day and it honestly makes me feel more productive and organized. I remember when I was in the adolescent stage and for me in that stage, I didn't make my bed very often. I remember walking into my room later that day feeling as if my room was very disorganized. Now I love having my bed made and I faithfully make it every day. Now it's time to work out. For this workout, I chose to listen to music. I go into my Spotify app and choose the playlist Workout Christian Music. I absolutely love working out to this playlist. It's very motivating and uplifting. I use my yoga mat every time I work out. This is the GOM yoga mat and I've had it for a long time. I love this yoga mat. I find my workouts on Pinterest. <laughs> this workout is called 10 pound early morning workout level one, which involves 40 jumping jacks, 35 squats, 25 crunches, 20 high knees, 15 push ups, 10 sit ups, and 8 burpees. But you repeat it two to five times. Today I repeated this workout three times.
After whatever kind of workout I do, I like to add an abs workout with it. I'm doing 15 flutter kicks two times, Fifteen leg raises one time. Fifteen leg lifts one time. I'm taking my 8 pound weights to complete 15 Russian twists two times. The first time I'm going to be holding one 8 pound weight. The second time I'm going to be holding two 8 pound weights. Now, some call this plank hip dips and some call them plank hip twists. Either way, I'm doing 15 of them. I'm actually not sure what this is called, but this is one of my go-to exercises. I absolutely love this. How I do this exercise is I complete 30 on both sides, but I break it up by doing 15 on one side, wait 10 seconds, 15 on the other side, wait 10 seconds, 15 on the opposite side, and 15 on the other side. I end my ab workout with planks. I start with an elbow plank and I hold it for 45 seconds. Then I do a full plank and hold it for 45 seconds. Lastly, I do a reverse plank and I hold that for 45 seconds. I completed my workout, yay! I roll up my yoga mat and drink my water. It's really important to stay hydrated before and after a workout. I turned the workout setting off on my Fitbit and walked downstairs to the kitchen. The morning vitamins I take every day are one natural serotonin, Zyrtec, vitamin C, one B12, three multivitamins, and an omega-3 squeezable.
One of my go-to breakfast foods that have helped me in my weight loss experience are the Garden of Life Organic Fit Bars. It's a high protein weight loss bar. My favorite kind is the peanut butter chocolate. It tastes delicious. I think the best parts about this bar are that one, it has 14 grams of protein and two, it has one gram of sugar. One, that's amazing. Another item I look for in foods is, is it dairy free, lactose free, soy free. I have a dairy allergy and I've actually cut out a good amount of dairy. I found dairy free cheese, dairy free yogurt, dairy free butter, dairy free macaroni and cheese, dairy free ice cream. But this bar is in fact dairy free, soy free, gluten free, vegan, organic, and non GMO verified. My second go to breakfast food that has helped me in my weight loss experience are the organ or organ plant based organic vegan nutrition shake in the flavor smooth chocolate. This protein shake is amazing and it's so easy to prepare in the mornings. All you do is chill, shake, and enjoy, just like what it says on the bottle. It's that simple. At Sprouts, these are not stored in refrigerators, but I do keep mine in a refrigerator until I drink it. This protein shake has 16 grams of protein and nine grams of sugar. It's dairy-free, soy-free, gluten-free, lactose-free, organic, non-GMO verified, and vegan. Before I eat anything, I take my natural serotonin with water. My goal every day before I eat breakfast is to drink at least three of the eight ounce cups of water. After I drink three eight ounce cups of water, I throw that small water bottle away. I grab one of my large water bottles and fill that up with a little ice and water. For me, I prefer to drink out of a larger water bottle rather than drinking out of a smaller water bottle. I find myself drinking more water and being more conscientious of how much water I'm drinking as well as being more conscientious of how often I'm drinking water with a large water bottle. I'm going back upstairs to my room to drink my protein shake and pick out my clothes for the day. I've been starting to listen to books through this app called Overdrive. You can actually borrow books on audio or ebook or whatever you're wanting through your library. I love this app because sometimes it's nice to have a book read to you rather than reading it yourself. Right now I'm listening to this book called The Air by Kira Cass. I'm really enjoying this book. I finished drinking my protein shake, so now I take the rest of my morning vitamins. I make my way to the restroom to wash my face. I take off my Fitbit, put on my headband to keep my hair out of my face.
wash my hands and start with washing my face with the Dove Gentle Exfoliating Soap. I love using Dove Soap and with my sensitive skin, it works great. I pat dry my face and clean up the water that spilled out of my sink. I then use clindamycin phosphate topical solution by Activis. This is so simple and quick to use on my face. All I do is take the lid off and dab it all over my face. I create a fan with my hands to help the product dry quicker on my face. I love this moisturizing cream. It's called CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. It's so smooth and creamy feeling. It feels as if you just went to the spa after putting this on. Lastly, I use sunscreen. With such hot and humid weather there's been this summer, it's very important to protect your skin. The sunscreen I use is Elta MD Skincare UV Sport Broad Spectrum SPF 50. What I love about this sunscreen is if I'm outside for a long period of time and I sweat a lot, it doesn't burn my eyes if it just so happens to get in my eyes and it's water resistant up to 80 minutes. I actually received this skincare routine from my dermatologist. So the products I buy from my dermatologist are the clindamycin phosphate topical solution by Activis and the Elta MD Skincare UV Broad Spectrum SPF 50 sunscreen. I proceed to brush my hair and decide if I should put it up in a ponytail or leave it down. Today, I decided to put it up in a ponytail. Here's a little tip on your ponytails, ladies. If you want your ponytail to look as if it has more volume, take a teasing comb and tease the top of your ponytail. Make sure you tease it all the way around so it looks even. If you'd like a tutorial on that topic, comment down below and I'd be happy to make it. I put my brush and comb away, clean up my area, and make sure there aren't any hairs in the sink. <laughs> ladies, can you relate? I drink more water throughout the day and make that a priority. I then go downstairs to let our dog ice cream outside to use the restroom. Ice cream is also known as creamy, icy, and cream puff. <laughs> After we both come back inside, I grab my dirty laundry, I bring it downstairs to start the laundry. That is my healthy summer weekday morning routine. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time.